Hey you guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. I thought today, um, we would talk about my, like, experience with COVID as someone who has had it for the first time in late 2022. Zero I know this sounds crazy that I've made it this far into the pandemic without um, getting it, especially as someone who has, who gets pretty much every virus if someone coughs on me, sneezes on me accidentally or... <laughs> metaphorically, you know, if someone breathes on me the wrong way, <laughs> I get everything else. I've managed to go until October 2022 without um, getting COVID, um, but, or October was when I was, um, when I tested positive, I believe, or it might have been the beginning of November, not sure, but no, it was the end of October, but yeah, I just thought that we would talk about my experience just so, you know, the more experiences that are out there, the better, I always feel like, um, Especially because I I knew COVID could get really bad, but I thought, like, this batch of it wasn't as bad, but I got, like, really, really sick. Um, and it was a little scary for a few days. Um, so, um, I went to volunteer at an organization, um, that I've been a part of for several years and whenever I was there one of my friends tested one of my best friends tested positive and so I immediately went into quarantine and the I initially um or neither one of us initially thought that we were sick um but because she's receiving um blindness training there they swab for covid weekly but she, all she had that day was maybe like a mild sinus headache and so when they swabbed her that day she tested positive and so, and because we were together, like, a lot in the evenings and things like that, the, like, three, four days I was there before I had to quarantine, um, they immediately told me I had to test in quarantine, and all, that's all I had was a really bad sign at first, was a really bad sinus headache and maybe a slight runny nose. And so, they tested me immediately, and it at first came up negative, but due to the direct exposure, I, um, went into quarantine. And I would say, and this was on, I would say the Wednesday before, um... Halloween, um, and then Thursday, I woke up, and that was, like, started to feel kind of crummy, I got, like, more congested, I think a little bit of a sore throat, like, started to feel, like, like super cold, like, just a whole bunch of weird symptoms to let me know that something was probably wrong. And they still swabbed me again while I was at this organization, and I still tested negative for whatever reason. But I think 
I know a few other people who got have gotten this round um, who didn't test positive to like four or five days later. And uh, they asked me to go home, obviously, due to the direct exposure. So I got a ride home. And the next day, I felt extremely sick. I was throwing up, body aches. Um, I couldn't keep anything down. I felt like I had, like, an upper respiratory infection. And so I went into urgent care that evening, probably around 530 and that's when I officially tested positive for COVID was the Friday, which I think was officially the third day I had symptoms, but the doctor said that, like, they count the first day as, like, day zero, so it might have been day two, something like that, but, um, that was, like, whenever I officially tested positive, um, and while I was there, they gave me a cough syrup that had, um, some Zofran in it, and they gave me, like, an antiviral medication to hopefully help mitigate the severity um and so I went home and started taking both of those medications and Friday Saturday and Sunday or I'd say Saturday I was about the same um but Sunday got really rough it was um it was more like mucus like dropped into my chest and it made it like really really hard to breathe and so I messaged my doctor or my primary care doctor on um, my chart and let him know that I was positive for COVID and it might have been Saturday. I don't know. COVID brain. I The timelines are a little skewed. That I was starting to struggle to breathe. That a lot of mucus had dropped into my chest. And that I was struggling to breathe with my COVID diagnosis. Um, and what should I do? And immediately Monday morning... They sent me in an inhaler and a steroid. And as soon as I started the inhaler, it um, opened me up. And I started to feel a lot better. And I've, I still, like, during these, like, from, like, Friday to, like, Monday or Tuesday, I can do anything. Like, just walking from, like, my bed to the couch, like, which was, like, maybe 10 feet, because we live, like, in a smaller kind of house, like, would completely knock the wind out of me. Like, I would have to, like, sit there for, like, five ten minutes to like catch my breath or walking across the house to the bathroom would completely knock the wind out of me for a long time um which was new to me but I would say the inhaler and the steroids opened me up pretty good but it wasn't until about Wednesday or Thursday that I really started like recovering and turning the corner and was like oh okay like I'm getting over this but it took when my symptoms probably completely went away probably the next Friday or Saturday but it probably took me until 
or I would say I'm still kind of recovering, honestly. Um, if I push myself too hard, I still get really tired. Um, so my body is still kind of in like a recovery mode, but I like, so I made this video, even though it's like super rambly, just to let you know that like COVID ain't no joke. Like I knew it was bad, but like until I went through it, I did not know like what it does to somebody's body. Like, like just how bad it messes with you that like still like my symptoms ended like five, six days ago. But I'm still having to think about, like, how far I walk places. Like, do I need to grab my inhaler if I'm going to go, like, walk a long time somewhere? Like, it is not a joke. And I am for the record, vaccinated, and it was still this bad. I couldn't imagine what this would have been like if I was unvaccinated, but this ain't no joke. Like, so I just wanted to make this video just because I learned a lot from this experience, and... wanted to put that out there Screenshot. take a picture stop recording video